What is going on everybody? So if you can see by the title of this video, I recently watched all of the Blackwell Ghost films, all seven films in the franchise, and I talked about them each individually in a review format, and I had fun doing that, but I know a lot of you out there enjoy ranked list. You like listening to my opinions, ranking franchises, and ranking different things, and so I thought it would be fun to go through the entire Blackwell Ghost franchise and rank the seven films from my least favorite to my favorite in that order. And obviously, as I say in every single one of these videos, this is just my opinion. Your opinion is probably going to be different than mine, but I will uh, give little tidbits of information about the films when I rank them. But otherwise, I'm not going to go into detail because I already did that. Uh, you can go check out every single one of the reviews I did for each individual film. But let's get into it now. So the Blackwell Ghost series, if you are unfamiliar, uh, it's directed stars Turner Clay. It's about a man who decides to go paranormal investigating. And his simple paranormal investigation turns into much, much more over time. And each film has its own unique plot arc. Sometimes the plot arcs overlap. Sometimes they're completely new and and original and that is pretty much the basis for the series so without further ado let's get into ranking them now so coming in dead last is going to be the blackwell ghost part two this is the sequel to the first blackwell ghost film this is the one of the only two films that actually include the blackwell ghost in the film but the problem with this movie and i talked about it in my review is that this is more of the same this is everything that I enjoyed about the first film, essentially just rehashed and approached in a way that is a lot less interesting. The first half of this movie takes forever to get going. It is very bland in comparison to the other films in the franchise. And unfortunately, that's why it falls in last place for me. I think there are some moments in it that definitely work. There are some moments with like the chairs flipping and things that I can appreciate from a filmmaking standpoint. But for the most part, this one's just bland compared to the other movies in the franchise, and it would not be one that I was super excited to revisit again. Coming in sixth place is going to be The Blackwell Ghost Part 5. I talked about this in my review where Part 4 was super interesting and kind of added on to the Lightfoot case. Part 5 does everything Part 4 does in a way that is so much less interesting. The exposition at the beginning of this film is relatively bland. It does add a couple of moments in there where I'm like, okay, we're adding into the mystery of the murders and what has occurred, but not necessarily in a way that I find super engaging or enthralling. He does investigate the bumps in the, in the night inside of the Lightfoot house in this one a little bit more than he did in the uh, third and the fourth films inside of the Lightfoot house. But regardless of that, it's still such a slog to get through. And even the ending reveal, which is part of the movie that I like a lot, just really does not hold up in comparison to the rest of the films in this franchise. Coming in at number five is The Blackwell Ghost Part 7, the most recent film in the Blackwell Ghost series. This is the one that I discussed that Turner Clay decided to include um, a stalker who is coming after his character because of the documentaries that he's doing and his obsession with the case, uh, the Lightfoot case, which uh, is a really interesting way to go with this franchise. I wasn't sure what Turner was going to do after this, you know, doing a series for this long, like where, what direction are you going to take it to keep people engaged and to keep people coming back for more and I liked that element of it but the pacing in this thing just really struggles to hold your attention for even the brief hour and 10 minute runtime it really struggles to continue to find its footing and although there's going to be a part eight I'm wondering if it's going to be more of the same with this and if it is I'm not going to enjoy it very much because I I just I found this one to be really hard to get through the the, the two before this five and two the problems with that is it's rehashing more of the same. This is doing something different that also feels like more of the same in a way that I just don't appreciate as much as other films in the franchise. Coming in at number four is The Blackwell Ghost 3. This is the film that introduces us to the Lightfoot case. I really liked the tension and the atmosphere in this one. I really liked the story of the Lightfoot case. I thought that interviewing the son of the killer was a really interesting route to go. And it really immersed me in the story from the beginning of this film and made me engaged. Because if you're going to have a series called The Blackwell Ghost and you're immediately going to get out of The Blackwell Ghost being a part of your film after the second movie, 
movie, then you better come up with something really interesting to keep me engaged for the rest of the films. And I do like this whole Lightfoot house uh, thing. I think the setting is really great. I think the way that he introduces you to the setting is great. The weird, creepy phone calls at 2.47 in the morning are a really nice touch. All of the creepy stuff that happens in this is executed really well. And this is one that I really enjoyed that takes off into the remainder of this franchise which if you're going to have a movie that kind of shifts the trajectory of everything that you have built up before it you have to do something that's going to hold people's attention and the blackwell ghost 3 does a very good job of that coming in at number three is going to be the blackwell ghost 6 this is one that i feel like has the most kind of like all over the place reviews and this is the one where i discussed in the review that turner clay's wife in the series has passed away in the film and this added a whole nother personal element to the movie that I felt like made it much more emotionally compelling than any of the other films in the franchise. I really appreciated the direction that this one went. I thought there were some nice, tense, scary moments in it, especially since the house is being haunted and Turner has his two young kids at the house with him. That added an additional level of anxiety because you have kids involved in that scenario, which really makes the suspense level through the roof and that's something that I can really appreciate a lot. I do think, similar to all the other films in this franchise, that this one has some pacing issues. But aside from that, I still was engaged in this story. And I think that the route that it takes and the reveal that it has at the end of the movie is something that I can truly get behind and enjoy. And yeah, I really like Blackwell Ghost Part 6 a whole lot. I wish the seventh one would have gone in that direction, but I'm glad that 6 exists. So coming in at number 2 is the Blackwell Ghost Part 4. This one could actually interchange with the film in my number 1 spot. I think that this one is equally as good. This is the continuation of the Lightfoot case. This one arguably is probably the most horrific of the entire franchise the things that happened in this movie scared me more than anything in any of the other ones i really like that it takes everything that the third movie set up but does it in a way that is so much more engaging so much more intense so much more suspenseful i loved everything about the fourth movie i think that it's exactly what these movies can be. I love the potential that it brings to the entire franchise, and although I don't think the other films necessarily live up to the fourth film, it's cool to see that Turner Clay, four films into a franchise, can make something that is so compelling and that kind of leaves you on the edge of your seat at the end of the fourth one as to where the franchise was going to go. I like this one a lot. I could see myself revisiting this one on its own just because of how much I enjoyed it. So coming in at the number one spot, if you've been paying attention, is the first Blackwell Ghost film. This is the one that started it all. This is the one that has to get you off on the right foot to want you to continue. And although this is the most bare, simplistic film in the series, that's what I like so much about it. It doesn't need super, uh, it doesn't need to be super flashy. It doesn't need to do a whole lot that really like um, elevates it to any specific level. It just has to be great at being a found footage mockumentary film and it does do a really great job of that it builds up his charisma it's really funny at moments it has some suspense i like that it's not it feels like it could be real and that's the thing that i appreciated about the first film in the franchise is when you can kind of suspend your disbelief to a point where you're like wow this could actually really be happening then that's what makes me hooked on something and i really enjoy the first installment i do think this and part four could flip i love both of them a lot i think they're both fantastically made but as of this moment that is where my ranking stands so do you agree or disagree with my ranking of the blackwell ghost series let me know down in the comments i absolutely enjoyed this franchise i thought it was so much fun to watch all these movies i think turner clay is a really interesting individual and i look forward to watch more of these whenever they're released as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for i'm always putting out new material look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.